Hello, in this video we are going to learn about how to create a persistent disk and what is the purpose of creating a persistent disk and uh, yes, uh, we are going to see. So before going to the topic, if you are visiting my channel for the first time, please do subscribe so that you will get more updates on GCP tutorials and etc. database tutorials etc. Okay, so now uh, before uh, starting our lab work, uh, we are going to see what is persistent disk and when to use this persistent disk. Okay, persistent disk mainly helps us to increase the storage capacity of an instances, which means that uh, generally, if you wanted to increase your storage capacity for your computers, personal computers, what do you do? You will uh, add a um, what you will add external hard disk right so that uh, we can increase the total storage capacity at the same time for virtual machine instances if you wanted to increase uh, uh, your storage capacity at any point of time whenever it is at a running uh, running stage that time also if you wanted to add in a future then uh, by uh, creating a persistent disk we will increase the storage capacity uh, fine I hope you understood so now we are going to the lab uh, just go to the navigation menu uh, how to create a disk we are going to see the persistent disk uh, let's uh, click on the compute engine and then you see uh, here under the storage block we have a disk click on that now uh, here if you see create disk option is there just click on create disk name your disk uh, disk of bt learn which means best tech learn my channel name demo hyphen one this is my disk name i am giving uh, and then uh, for to increase so to increase storage capacity We are giving, uh, we are creating persistence disk. So this is uh, just I give description and uh, the location uh, you can give anything like single zone or original uh, anything. Uh, if you want, I just given a single zone. Um, US, uh, let me US West. Let me select US West. Okay. So here zone uh, we can have anything and then you see here this is very important the next section is uh, select here the disk source types are different it might be like a blank disk or image or snapshot or archival snapshot if you click on image from another image you can create or else you can create it from another snapshot or archival snapshot but now we are going to see the first option blank disk we are going to create it uh, here uh, if you see the disk settings we are going to uh, select now uh, if you observe the disk types are four types that is balanced to persistent disk extreme SSD standard what does uh, all this if you click on the compare disk it will show you clearly what uh, I mean how much capacity it can have standard balanced SSD and extreme okay so cost sensitive standard is cost sensitive and throughput optimized non boot data drives see the uh, read input output per second uh, for per instance is 375 and here balanced is 3000 ssd is 15000 extreme is up to 15000 so like this we have all uh, the parameters all have and how much capacity it has uh, as per the your requirement you just uh, see how much uh, is uh, you can you are going to increase that you need to select here right now for demo purpose i am selecting here standard one just uh, click on a uh, standard uh, persistent disk i am going to selecting here the basic is fine for me even in standard persistent disk also you can able to save i mean you can able to increase your storage capacity up to 64 terabytes uh, see here the size is 500 gb that is fine and uh, you see here the snapshot schedule which is i'm going to disable it because i am not creating any snapshot here uh, you see here the size persistent disk performance is tied to the size of the disk volume larger disk will provide greater 
read or write performance right now i don't have much storage i don't need much storage capacity so i'm going through this only uh, default one 500 is enough for me uh, and this encryption by default one i'm go i'm giving i'm not giving anything additional uh, encryption keys if you come down just click on create now uh, the disk persistent disk is going to be creating you see it will take few seconds of time to create uh, so you understood right so what is the purpose of uh, creating a disk a persistent disk see it is created successfully now we will see uh, in the next video how to uh, attach this persistent disk uh, to the VM uh, to existing VM which means uh, the instance is already running but if you wanted to increase the size of the storage capacity of the your instance then you need to add a boot I mean a uh, disk so that how we will add and how to delete a disk uh, how to unmount uh, the size and capacity everything before deleting that all we are going to see in the next videos I hope you understood well if you are visiting my channel for the first time please do subscribe and also like share my comment on my video thank you